This is on the uh, on the passenger side of the truck itself. I'm sorry, this is on the driver's side of the truck. And if you look right up underneath here, I'm going to get this light up in here. This switch right here is the one that we're talking about. So what you're going to do is you're going to get underneath here, right on the bottom right here, there's a plug. You just pull down on this lock tab and you'll hear it click and you rock it and you pull it off. Quite common is if you look at these electrical contacts in here, you'll see a lot of corrosion on these contacts. Uh, in here it's going to be hard to see anything in there because the, the, uh, the position that it's in. Check your harness to make sure there's no damage to your harness. Um, and in this case here the harness looks like it's in, in pretty decent condition. The harness does run around up to the front of the transmission up here and then up. That appears to be in good shape. And then what you can do is, right, let me see if I get my camera up there. Sorry about that. Right on the side there, you see this little 10 millimeter bolt? We're going to take that 10 millimeter bolt out and we're going to pull this sensor out of the truck. So uh, let me grab a 10 millimeter ratchet and we're going to remove that, uh, that sensor. Come right back. Let me get some tools. Okay, to take out the sensor, I was wrong, it's actually, it's an 8 millimeter, uh, 8 millimeter nut that holds this into the uh, transmission. We just loosen it up, and then we take out the, uh, the nut, let's see, you might wind up with a little bit of fluid leaking out of here. So you want to try to get your replacement in there pretty quickly. Take the bolt all the way out. Right. And just so you know, this is the replacement sensor for it. All right, and it comes with the bracket on it already. So we're going to. Uh, we're going to pull the other one out, and we're going to put this one right in, so let's see how that, uh, how that goes. You just turn it and pull it at the same time, and it looks like no fluid's coming out. All right, we're going to put the replacement back in, push it all the way in, and catch that bolt that we previously took out. Screw it in by hand as far as you can. And then once you got it screwed down by hand as far as you can, then you'll get on there with the ratchet and just snug it in. You don't have to go real tight because you're going into aluminum. So you just turn it until it's snug. least is plug your plug back in and listen for that snap when you know it's when it's locked in place all right and you can feel it lock in all right that's it all right let's lower the vehicle down we're going to clear the codes out of it and we're going to road test it and we'll see how uh, how it goes all right let me lower it down we'll come right back Okay, after driving it, everything seems to be okay. The trans is shifting properly. The, uh, the speedometer is working just as it should. Um, that's it. Another well done job. All right, any questions, any comments, any uh, concerns that you have, any help you need with anything, just drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to respond back to you. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.